Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. <laughs> I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. They're dead. We have to move on. They're not dead. Do you want them to be? <laughs> yeah, it was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want. Do you know how to do this? Nope. No idea. I'm going to look like a boy. Put the gun down, bitch! Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Screw this. Y'all wave them guns like... Shit! What the hell'd you do that for? Can you help me find it? Sorry, hun. I, I don't have time. That was my favorite hat. I don't trust you. Please! Help me! Please! Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Come on, tell him. Tell him. Your boy Danny is nuts. No, that's not a very nice thing to say, Lee. Can you give me a hand real quick? I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. I need to keep my strength up, too. I hope I get to eat next time. What exactly is your problem? Excuse me? You had the food in your hands, and you didn't offer any of it to me or the kids. What kind of man are you? <sighs> This is Bree. She can help us. We don't need her. She's just gonna slow us down. Don't ever do that again! I was only trying to help. A little harsh on her, don't you think? We gotta jump! What? No way! Guys! Fine! You stay here and we'll go with your lady! The hell you will! Run! Run! Ugh. What the hell is wrong with you? Is this how you protect your people? It smells like... Shit. Ugh. That was a swear. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. 
Can't take the risk. You threatening me, old man? Because you're not gonna like how that goes. Put the fucking gun down before you really make me mad. He's bluffing. You think so? Try me. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. No, I don't think so. I know killers. I've seen my share. You ain't got the look. And that means you ain't got the balls. Now drop the goddamn gun! My god. Vernon, what have you done? Now tell me, who the hell are you people? You say you're not from Crawford, but you sure as hell act like it. I'm the one holding the gun. Start talking. So, you're sick? My friend here asked you a question. We're sick. We belong to a cancer survivors group that used to meet at the hospital here. Now we're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. <laughs> They'd already rounded up five of us before we managed to hole up and hide down here. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? You expect us to help you after the way you busted in here and terrorized us? But we all got our own problems. Two of our people are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Because this is your other option. You can either show me the way back or die right here. What's it gonna be? You son of a bitch! Sorry, but it's like you said. We've all got our own problems. It's all right, Bree. I'll show you the way back to your people, and then I hope I never see you again. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like shit, right, Lee? Hey! How you doing? Say it to me, asshole, what you said to my girl. Excuse me, son? Telling the little girl she's gonna die. You wanna scare people, scare me. Motherfucker. Okie dokie. She's gonna die. Son of a bitch. How is that? How about I throw your sorry ass off this fucking train? Lee! Shoot this fucker! Shit! <laughs> Falling! <laughs> Don't I get a vote? No. Toss him out and save the group. Lee? What the fuck, man? I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? I don't care about your life story, Molly. Then maybe you shouldn't have asked. You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. Yeah. Are we going to die? I want my dad. Look, I just came in and found the door open like that. I think she probably did it. Lee, what the fuck? I could kill you. I... I... Nobody can see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No! I... Lee, please! Why shouldn't I? They said they had my friend. 
I didn't know what to do. Please, please. I had to tell someone. I bet you did. Mind your own business. If we wanted you to help out, we would have asked. Is there anything else I should know? I guess I probably know everything then. Being a little girl and all. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. They're dead. We have to move on. They're not dead. Do you want them to be? <laughs> God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. <laughs> Kitty! How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. God damn it, it's locked! Fuck, it's still locked! Just do what I say, okay? Run!